Islands today. And with me is Caitlin. She's our Bird World intern for this winter. So she is going to be working on feeding the penguins. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of work. So you'll hear us talking to each other, um, getting things sorted out. She's got some medications to hand out as well. So while we're doing that and concentrating on the birds, keeping track of how much they're eating, we will not be talking to you guys. But you will have Rosa over by the exit door, Bird World. She'll speak to you throughout the whole feeding. And if you guys still have questions after that, just hold on to them. And as soon as we're done with the feeding, we can answer any questions for you. So we'll go ahead and get started with dinner. These guys are getting herring tonight. So the keepers come out and feed the, the penguins so the public can watch twice a day and they get a varied diet. They rotate different kinds of fish. So this morning, I believe it was Caitlin, now it's herring. And then make sure they get some high fat fish and some low fat fish. And we don't want the penguins to develop any preferences for a particular food. So that's one reason why we rotate it. It helps their diet be nice and balanced. There's also some medication supplements, vitamins inside those fish. The penguins don't know any different. Um, they swallow the fish whole and they're able to get um, the additional supplementation to their diet that way. This allows the keepers to get a close look at the birds every day. They can see the color of their mouth. They can look at the clarity of their eyes. They can look for any changes in behavior and also any changes in appetite. And this is kind of like giving each penguin a mini physical and gives a really good sense of the overall health of the flock. We do have very healthy penguins. Uh, we even have one individual named Puffer who is over 30 years old. As you look at the flock, you'll see different um, uh, temperaments. You see some dominant penguins that are just hanging up close and wanting to get the fish first, and some of the shyer penguins are hanging back a little bit, but they're paying close attention to which birds um, eat how many fish, and they make sure that each penguin gets exactly what it needs. Can you see the fish? You'll also notice that some penguins have what we call a tuxedo pattern. They have a black band across the front of their chest. And they also have a white band um, above each eye on their heads. And those are the adult the penguins. Eating? So the penguins you see can have a more uniform, um, kind of dark gray or black head, and away. they don't yet have that band across their chest. Those are the juveniles. Now penguins go through what's called a catastrophic molt. So um, that happens once a year. And you can see some of the penguins are in the middle of it. They look a little bit um, haggard, you might say. Some of their feathers are missing. So they are just going through that natural process that penguins go through once a year. They lose all their feathers and grow them back in over a pretty short period of time, just two to four weeks. And the young ones.